We just left Sauk Center, Minnesota. On our way down towards Michigan. Uh, we'll probably make it, well, we'll make it through Chicago tonight. And I uh, want to make it past Gary, Indiana there, and uh, probably stop somewhere around South Bend. I'm not too sure. The, the place we're going to is called Byron Center, Michigan, which is south of, like, right south of Grand Rapids, Michigan. It almost looks like it's part of the same city, which it might be. I don't know. We're a full day's drive from there yet, so we're gonna we'll get as close as we can tonight, and we're gonna deliver this lumber that we have on our flatbed behind us in the morning. All right, it looks like it's not too busy right now here at this intersection kerfluffle where you get off the 694 in Minneapolis, get back on the 94. This is on the east side of the city. This is usually just a cluster of people. Not too bad today. Keep left on ramp to I-94. It is so nice to have the warm weather back right now. Oh, it's great. Okay, can we get onto this road here now? How's this? How's this working out here, people? Come on, move, move, move. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. Go, 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 go. All right. I don't like this interchange at all. But... It works, it's just it, it could work better if it was built different, but hey, look at all the construction here though. Maybe they are actually fixing it. Maybe they'll make it better. There's gotta be a lot of fender benders that happen there. Here's my load. It's a little windy out here right now. This camera doesn't always deal well with the wind when I don't use my mic. But just stopped at a rest area in Wisconsin here, just south of Black River Falls. Let diesel, <laughs> gonna let diesel, <laughs> gonna let diesel stretch his legs here in the, in the field for a little bit. Hey, diesel, come here, come here, bud. Diesel, hey, 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 trying to get your attention, buddy. Come here, come here. You'll be happy you came, believe me. All right, bud, come. Good boy. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It almost looks like a park that's been overgrown. Like the rest area is right behind us over here. Down here. Well, maybe this is where they have their septic fields for the rest area. Pretty far away from the building, but I guess that's necessary sometimes. Right. Well, not this huge open grass area back here. That's pretty nice, eh, Diesel? What a beautiful day, look at that sun. Oh, this weather is perfect. Summertime's gonna get a little too hot, but this, this is my favorite time of year. Something's running over here. Sounds like a big fan of some sort. Yeah, this has gotta be their septic. What? Caution, blower must push air, water treatment tank. Interesting. So that thing's over there. We still got all of this. And it's got all these sticks and poles everywhere. You see that? It's almost like they're gonna build roads through here or something. All these little mounds like that. This is obviously cleared for a reason. And I just realized something. Diesel, we forgot to lock the doors on the truck. I gotta go back and lock the doors. I don't trust nobody. Come on, Diesel. Now I feel better. <laughs> Are you guys the same way? I lock everything all the time. And my wife does exactly the same thing. Except with her, whenever I leave the house and go to the garage to come back, all the doors are locked and I'm locked out. Every time. But I don't want to discourage that, right? <laughs> it's a good habit to be in. Let's go run for a bit longer, Diesel. Just gonna have you on the leash while we're around the big trucks here. Let's go back to the field, man. I want to check out your pole. I want to check out your field. It's very nice. It's a very nice pole, Diesel. That is now yours. You have your very own light pole. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go run. You have to take this leash off first, man. Don't go too far.
wandered off the path a little bit, just exploring the Wisconsin bush here a little bit, or the woods. This is beautiful. This reminds me a lot of our property back home. This is what I live for. Oh, what's this? Oh, well, that's definitely not what I live for. That looks like a like an empty grave. Seriously, why else would this hole be dug here? You can tell somebody dug it up because there's a big mound there. A hole there. Obviously to bury something. But they didn't finish. They just dug the hole. Freaky. All right, Wisconsin, you've officially creeped me out. Ended up having a little nap here right away. A wave of tiredness just came over me as I was coming back to the truck with diesel. Maybe it's all the sunlight. My body is just not used to it. <laughs> Maybe I'm a vampire. I don't know. I had to stop for little naps. So I keep going. We still got another six hours that we can drive today yet. But glad we had that little hour power nap. So now I want to get past Chicago. I used up all my brake time now. Not really any more time for any brakes other than just the uh, necessities. We have a reload coming out of Ontario that we gotta pick up. It'd be nice if we could pick it up tomorrow, but it'll most likely be picked up a day after tomorrow. And that's taking us over to Edmonton. And if we're lucky, maybe Britt will jump in the truck as we pass by home. Well, nightfall is upon us. Came pretty quickly, actually. Because I had my nap. Even though it was just like an hour nap, I feel great, much better than I did before. But it does make things, time pass by a little quicker, I guess. Makes sense. We're coming, or we're going around Madison, Wisconsin right now. Uh, a little further south of here, at the border with Illinois. Uh, we're gonna stop at the Flying J, grab some fuel and a coffee. I have four and a half hours left to drive. Uh, we're going to be taking the route around Chicago, just so I can avoid the city a little bit. It's a few, it's a few miles further to go around on uh, I-88 through Rochelle, Illinois there. But a little bit more comfortable of a drive. I'm, I'm trying it. There's less tolls there too. We'll see what happens. Alright, we have eight minutes to pull off the road here which we have, and find a parking spot at the Flying J, or the Pilot, whatever, Pilot Flying J, same thing. Hopefully they have room for us. We're uh, near, oh, uh, what's that city? I think we're near South Bend, Indiana. We're into Indiana, anyways. Here's the Pilot off to our right. I haven't been here in a very long time, so I don't remember how much parking there is. Oh, I hope that there's something. <laughs> I guess I got eight minutes, seven very soon. I'll have to make a spot if I can't find one. I hate doing that. All right, let's see what we can find here. Oh, I hope we're lucky enough to have a spot. Oh, but it looks full. I know it's dark, you can't really see anything here because the yard light isn't, isn't working. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Well, there will be a spot here, that's what I'll say. There will be. Whether we have to make one or not, that is the question. Well, Diesel. That was a little risky, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> and look at this, front and center. We got a front row spot. Someone must have just pulled out of here. <sighs> so that's that. Uh, lucky us. <laughs> there was only one spot. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. All the extra spots that you could have possibly made into a parking spot were taken as well. So that was a little bit risky. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Have a better trip plan of where you're going to stop. I was trying to get as far as I could today and... I pushed it a little bit far, but we stayed within the law and we didn't have to go overtime or nothing, so all is good. So I'm gonna walk the weasel right now, and tomorrow 
I'll take you along to unload this lumber and then we'll end the vlog there. So I'll see you first thing in the morning. It'll be a couple seconds for you. Be a whole night's rest for me. See you in a bit. Here we go, another day. About to be put into the books. Just finished our pre-trip again and now I am about to head back out on the road. We need to get to our delivery. Our reload will be reloading us tomorrow morning, so they did agree to that, so that's good. Lights are on. Everything is ready to go. Let's get out of here. So we have about another two hours to go. It's 11 o'clock right now that my e-log finally let me go. So we should be getting there around 1 o'clock. I gotta be there before three, so we have two hours wiggle room. I think that's safe enough. My reload actually wanted to reload me before three o'clock today too, but they're another like six hours away yet. And yeah, probably not gonna make it. <coughs> but that's okay, because I'll load it tomorrow morning and I'll still easily make it to my destination in Edmonton, Alberta uh, for Monday. They actually want it there Monday or Tuesday, so I have some wiggle room there too, but I want to be there Monday morning. Oh, you want to give everybody a nose kiss? How nice. You guys are very good looking, very nice looking people. That's a nice thing to say to them, Diesel. Look at you, all shy now. Yucks, man, you're embarrassing me. We're here at our uh, delivery now. Made it on time, there goes some right there. Taking more off over there. I got two guys unloading me right now. We're gonna have an empty trailer after this. Loading it all up there. All that lumber came from Canada. I've noticed that a lot of lumber comes from Canada. I think it's one of our main exports. So once we're empty here, we start making our way to Ontario. I have to stop somewhere and get some dunnage though. I'm gonna ask the guys here if they have any garbage wood that they're just gonna throw away. I need six eight foot two by fours for dunnage for my next load and I don't have any dunnage with me so I gotta either go buy it from like a Home Depot or a Rona or something. Well I guess Rona is Canadian, they wouldn't be in the States. It's probably like a Lowe's, I guess Lowe's is American, right? Rona is kind of like the Canadian Home Depot. Same thing, same store, just Canadian. Uh, but Home Depots are also in Canada. Anyways, side topics. I gotta go find a store that can sell me that wood if these guys don't have anything I can have. I'm kind of hoping they got some garbage wood. You know, they don't need. They may find some charity in their heart to give to a poor trucker so that I don't have to pay for my own dunnage. <laughs> Not that it costs a lot, but it would just be, time-wise, it would save a lot of time just picking it up from right here, right? But we'll see. I've never requested that before. But you'll find out tomorrow. i got to end today's vlog here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. A lot of you aren't subscribed yet. Why not? You're missing out on uh, helping me get to 100,000 subscribers. So uh, it's free, it's easy. You go down there, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna know when I upload new videos, hit that bell, it'll notify you then. Set it all up there for yourself and that's that. It looks like this is the last lift that they're taking off of me now, so. Take care guys, I'll see you tomorrow.